Hi there and welcome to the explanation of the spawn uh, class within the Moose framework for DCS World. In this session we are going to explain the spawn class and how it can be utilized to create um, randomized uh, grand forces um, so that you can dynamically spawn AI within your missions to create a compelling randomized and dynamic experience for your players. First, a short overview of the spawn class, what it does. It's not complete, but it provides the main highlights. Um, the spawn class allows you to dynamically spawn new groups of units during your mission execution. So you can spawn whenever you need uh, new groups. You can spawn them in your mission using defined templates. You can randomize the routes that these uh, groups are following. You can put a limit on how many groups can be spawned and you can do scheduled spawning. That means that at a defined frequency and time you can spawn new, new units or new groups automatically. You can respawn those groups whenever, they, whenever it's needed. You can make a race to make those groups visible before the mission starts so that players will see a, a vast array of uh, ground forces ready to start engaging in your mission. You can repeat groups, so maybe not uh, really appropriate for ground forces, but for air units, when groups land, they would automatically be respawned and take off again. And also this one is for air groups, so when um, units will become inactive, they're damaged, but they're not destroyed, but they're just damaged and they're just sitting there. Or when these uh, units are blocking the runway, those will be automatically respawned. The deblocking would happen or the unit would become back engaged within your mission. This is an interesting one. You can randomize the zone where these units are being spawned. Um, you can spawn units at or groups at a certain point within the simulation space. You can randomize the templates, so you can define predefined templates uh, of how a group would look like, and you can randomize those templates when uh, a, a group is uh, being spawned. So imagine you, you can have a SAM at the first spawn, and in the next, second spawn there would be a, a BMP, and in the third spawn there would be a tank. A tank yeah? So this provides, a, in a nutshell, what spawn does. Um, I'm getting into the next videos in more detail on how you can code um, these uh, kind of spawn objects and how you can use them to create compelling missions. Thank you for watching.